equestrian portrait of Cornelis and Michiel Pomp, Van Meer Vort with their tutor and coachman. Equestrian portrait of Cornelis and Michiel Pomp Van Meer Vort with their tutor and coachman, also referred to as starting for the hunt Cornelis and Michiel Pomp Van Meer Vort with their tutor and coachman, or simply starting for the hunt, is an oil on canvas painting by Albert Kuyp, now in the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York. Kuyp mainly painted landscapes but these often included anonymous writers in compositions similar to this. By contrast, few of his paintings are portraits. This portrait is an early example of an equestrian portrait of someone who was not a member of court previously. Equestrian portraits had been restricted to only the high nobility and royalty, but in this period in the Netherlands, this was changing, and Kuyp and his father, Jacob Gerritsoon Kuyp, led this change with the encouragement of Cornelis van Beveren. The painting shows two young men, brothers Cornelis Pomp van Meerdervoort on the left and Michiel Pomp van Meerdervoort with their tutor, Collier, their coachman, Willem, and dogs. In the background of the image, there is a ruined castle, likely intended to indicate the ancient lineage of those pictured. The castle does not look like the Hueys T. Meerdervoort, the family home of the Pomp van Meerdervoort, located across the Oudmaas from Dordrecht and to the south of Zwaindrecht. The castle was originally painted in the left middle ground before it was repainted on the right. In the left of the background, sailboats can be seen on the River Rhine and the churches and associated buildings of Hoog Elton, Rinder, and Log Elton. Details, says deals. The background is believed to have been sourced from Kuyp's drawing of Rhine near Elton. Despite this background, there is no known connection between the Pomp van Meerdervoort family and that region. However, a 1994 guide to the Met notes that the landscape near Elton is similar to that of Dordrecht. The dogs are believed to be greyhounds and foxhounds, while the animal on the left of the painting is thought to be a hare. The clothing worn by those pictured would not have been common in the Netherlands and has been described as both Hungarian and Persian. The two boys and their riding instructor are wearing tight-fitting coats, known as dolmens, while the coachman is wearing a loser and heavier coat, known as a ment. The cap worn by Cornelis is similar to a Turkish turban. It has been observed that the heads of the figures are awkwardly painted, and this had been attributed to Kuyp's primary focus on landscape painting. The hand gesture of Collier was originally simply a direction, but would later have been viewed as an indication of who would quickly become the sole heir of the close family. Provenance It is most likely that the painting was commissioned by Adriana van Beveren, the widowed mother of the two young men, who is known to have been the first owner of the painting. However, it is also possible that the painting was commissioned by their uncle, Matthijs van Slingelent, or her father, Cornelis van Beveren. After the death of Adriana van Beveren, it passed to Cornelis Pomp van Meerdervoort. It then was passed down through the family with the Hueys T. Meerdervoort until 1806, when it was sold by Christina Elizabeth Pomp van Meerdervoort, the great-granddaughter of Cornelis. It was sold on August 20, 1806 in The Hague, as hunting party with three men on horses and a hunter with dogs in foreground for 695 Dutch guilders. On April 1920, 1825, it was sold at the Gallery Lebrun in Paris as La Partie de Chasse for 17,950 French francs. On May 1, 2, 1829, it was sold in London as La Partie de Chasse du Prince d'Orange for 1102 pounds in pence. On June 17, 1848, it was sold at Christie's in London as Prince of Orange on a grey horse for 556 pounds, 10 pence. On May 9, 10, 1895, it was again sold at Christie's as the Prince of Orange, with his sons prepared to depart for the chase for 2,100 pounds. On June 9, 1911, it was sold at the Gallery Georges Petit in Paris as Depart pour la Chasse for either 160,000 or 170,000 francs. On June 14, 1913, it was again sold at the Gallery Georges Petit for 145,000 francs. 
On June 23, 1922, it was sold for the final time at the Gallery Georges, Petit for 62,000 francs to Michael Friedsam, who held it until his death. Since being acquired by the Met, it has been exhibited in many other museums in the United States and the Netherlands, including the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C., the Rijksmuseum in Amsterdam, the Dordrecht's Museum, and the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston. Equals equals references equals equals equals.